Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look over through a really awesome themes collection for the TMOX. So if you are using the TMOX for several years, you might have seen the default theme for the TMOX that looks really weird. So if you want to rise your TMOX or if you want to customize your TMOX like a pro, then this video will be really amazing for you. So before proceeding with the themes, we have to install the TPM that is the TMOX plugin manager, which is responsible for handling the themes and the plugins for the TMOX. So if you are on the Rspace distro, it's quite easy for installing the TPM on your distro. So you just have to use the AUR helper that is the Paro or Ye. Just let's go to the terminal and you can simply do the Paro hyphen S TPM. So that is really easy for installing the TMOX plugin manager on the Rspace distro. As I have already installed, let me just do the control C and if you are on the Debian based distro or any other distribution. So for that, uh, we just need to go to the Demox plugin manager official GitHub repository. So don't worry, the link will be provided on the description. You can just open it on your browser. For installing the Demox on the other distribution, we just need to go onto the TPM official GitHub repository and on the installation section here, you can see out the one liner. Just copy that and go on to the terminal and paste it. So after that we have to initialize the tmox plugin manager in our tmox configuration file that is located in your home directory with the name.tmox.com. So just copy the code and just go on to the terminal, open the tmox.com file. So and just go on to the end of the file and just paste it here. So remember that you have to paste this to the end of the file. So if you don't paste this to the end of the file and this is not going to work. So as I have already pasted this to the end of the file. So let me just clear this from here. Uh, as you can see that I have already pasted it here. So this is used to initialize the Demox plugin manager and you have to set out the themes before that in order to initialize the themes properly by the Demox plugin manager. So let me just go on to the official website and here you can see out that we have to reload the Demox environment as well. For reloading the Demox environment, we have the commands uh, like Demox source followed by the tilde r forward slash dot demox.conf. Just simply copy this command and just go on to the terminal and paste it here. So if you have the running tmox section then this will reload the running tmox section and you can also bind this code to the particular key for that if you are on under the tmox section you can just simply press the prefix plus uh, desired key binding in order to reload the tmox configuration. So let me just show you an example. So as you can see out here I have bind with the R key on the keyboard for reloading the tmox.configuration file. So for that we have to press the prefix control plus B and followed by the R in order to reload the Tmux configuration file. So that was a quite easy. So now let's just go with the installation for some theme. So on the first we have the Dracula theme. So Dracula theme is a really amazing theme. I like the most because I was using the Dracula theme for my BSPWM window manager from the past several years. So it was really amazing and it's really eye-catching coral theme. So if you want to if you want to test out the Dracula themes, it's really amazing. Just go on to the Dracula theme.com slash tmox for checking out the themes for the tmox and if you want to use the dracula themes for other application there is also available if you want to use out the dracula theme for sublime text it is also available for the sublime text as well and it is also available more than for the more than 100 application on the linux so you can just simply go to the dracula theme.com and you can check for the available application and it's really easy for setting out the themes using the tmox plugin manager just copy the simple code and just go onto the terminal and open the tmox.conf file and just paste it anywhere before the tmox plugin manager so let me just comment out this theme and let's just paste it here and after that we just have to control uh, exit from here and let's open up the tmox and its default theme here for installing the new theme we just have to press the control b that is the prefix and followed by the shift i so and let's wait for some time 
and it will install our theme so as you can see that it has installed the Dracula theme successfully now let's just press the escape on the keyboard and boom so here as you can see that the Dracula theme is in your Tmux so we can just simply play with the Tmux by using the mouse as well so let me just exit from here so if you want to customize your dracula theme then you can also do that it's quite easy just go on to the official website and uh, under the configuration section you can also see out the configuration commands so we have the option for set ifng at the rate dracula plugins that would be the cpu usage cpu usage and the ram usage if you want to show out the cpu usage and the ram usage on your status line then you can simply use out this option so let me show you how we can do that so let us open the themox.conf file on the terminal and before the theme loading we have to paste it before the theme uh, so let's just save it and let's exit from here and we have to do the themox source followed by the themox.conf i think this might be that so we have reloaded successfully as my system is not using the gpu so that's why you are seeing on the gpu section it's showing that cpu is on we can also see out the cpu usage as well so that was a quite easy for customizing the dracula theme let me just go and remove the gpu usage from the setting option and let's save it and let's reload the configuration and boom so we have removed the cpu uses uh, like this you can easily customize the option for the dracula theme so on the bottom you can see out the option for the status bar as well if you want to enable the power line symbol then you can also do that that's really easy to enable the power line symbol you can see out the one liner here you just have to simply copy this and just go on to the demos configuration file and paste it before the theme load so we have to now reload the configuration file and let's wait so boom as you can see out that configuration has been loaded and it's looking really really beautiful and that is the really minimal and elegant setup for the team box so before using the dracula theme you have noticed that it was looking really ugly and weird so after using the dracula theme you can see out that it's looking very very minimalistic and beautiful so let me just exit so let me just clear up the terminal and let's go for the another theme. So that is the Nordic theme for the Tmux. Just go on to the link that is provided on the description. So now let's go for the Nordic theme for the Tmux. So if you like the Nordic theme, so this might be the really amazing for you. Simply go on to the getting started and you will find out the option for the Nordic theme. Just copy it and go and paste it on your tmox.conf file so let me just open the tmox.conf file here and let us go and comment out this regular theme section let me just add the comment here Dracula and let's just comment this and let's go with the nordic here nordic tmox and let's paste it here and so boom we are done let's just go and reload the tmox here tmox source followed by the forward slash dot tmox dot con we have successfully installed the nordic theme for the tmox let's clear up the terminal and let's go for the another amazing tmox theme so that is the tmox power line theme so just head over to the link that is provided on the description you can see out that the theme is really amazing and cool so i like this theme personally because i am also using the tmox powerline theme let's just go with the installation of the tmox powerline theme here we are using the theme collection that is the tmox powerline we just have to copy this uh, tpm code and we can simply go to the nano.tmox.conf and let me just comment out the north theme and let's uh, name it tmox power line theme and let's paste it here and we are done so let me just exit from here and uh, let's go with the tmox source followed by the tmox con and so let's go and change the theme i think i just forgot to change our theme so we have to type the set hyphen z tmox power theme uh, followed by the theme name Let's just go and select our amazing theme. So I'm just going with the 
Lewis and that is really amazing. Set FNG followed by the accurate Tmox power theme is with the sky. So let's open the configuration file and let's paste it here. And let's reload the configuration. So I think we have to exit from the Tmox section. And let's open the Tmox again. We have to install the Tmox theme. So let's just press the control B and followed by the shift and I. And it has installed the Tmox theme successfully. So here you can see our the power line theme is being applied to our Tmox. So let me just go and check for the another theme. So we have the themes like violet as well. So let me just copy the violet theme and let's just go and paste it here nano.tmox.conf and let's go and paste it here set ifng at the rate tmox power theme followed by the ports and close the ports and let's comment the previous theme and we are done let's exit from here so tmox source followed by the tmox.conf so and boom so the color has been changed so like this you can change out the different color theme or the different themes collection under the power line theme so if you want to use out the other you can also check out and if you want to customize your option so here is the option for customizing as well so that is the tmox theme pack so while i talk about the icons for Displaying the icons properly on the Tmox themes, you have to install the not fonts on your system. If you have not installed the not fonts on your system, then that is not gonna work. So the icons will not show on your terminal as well as on your Tmox theme. Likewise, as you can see out the icons on the calendar, as on the user, and as on the time. So for that you need to install the notch font on the arts based distro you can simply use the paro hyphen ss and uh, jet brains mono and grape hyphen i not so let me just go with the uh, jet brains i think i just did the typos mistake and here as you can see that not fonts jet brain mono so you have to install this font in order to display this kind of uh, icons on your terminal and don't forget to set up the fonts for your terminal as well so after installing you have to set up that font as well and if you want to use the another not font you, you can just simply go to the notfonts.com for checking out the different kinds of not font so this was for the customizing your tmox and configuring your tmox plugin so it was really easy to install your uh, themes onto your tmox so if you don't like your tmox default theme then you can use out the, the one of the theme that i provided in the video so the installation instruction is really easy than you have thought of and you can customize it as for your need so just play with the configuration and you will achieve it so let me just show you awesome guide for the tmox so here you can see out the awesome tmox and you can see out a lots of tutorials on how to customize the tmox and how to theme the custom how to theme the tmox and how to configure the tmox and you can also uh, see the tools and section management utility for the tmox and here you can see out the themes collection for the tmox as well and if you want to customize the status bar separately then you will see out the whole list of the plugins as well the link will be provided on the description just go and don't forget to check out the description so this much for today i hope you enjoyed the video just don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like my video just share it with your friends